still in control, no overwhelming feelings of rage. 16 insane characters appearing in the She-Hulk TV series, Backstories Explored. After an agonizingly long wait, Marvel's She-Hulk attorney at law is finally here, and there are some very interesting character appearances that are keeping the fans on the edge. The series largely focuses on the legal hassles of the superpowers acquired by She-Hulk and her companions, and the story arc reportedly dives into MCU's past and brings back some of the memorable characters. With the likes of Abomination, Hulk, Daredevil, and many more in the scheme of things, we thought it might be a good time to bring you a complete list of some of the mind-blowing characters that you can expect in the TV series. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. El Aguila El Aguila, or Alejandro Montoya, was a mutant born in Spain, and he started acquiring his powers from a fairly young age. He kept his mutant powers concealed, and over time he became a messiah and champion for the poor in New York City. He fought criminals responsible for drug deals and harassment of the poor, and he often distributed all the money acquired from these thugs among the poor. However, he was still an outlaw in the eyes of the police, and he was a wanted man for some of his extreme measures. He sometimes teamed up with other heroes like Iron Fist and Power Man, but their relationship also came under his suspicious observations. There was also an instance where he took on Hawkeye, the Avenger, and El Aguila has always been the mysterious character who hasn't been explored to the fullest. Will the TV series shed more light on his actions or keep him restricted to a mere cameo? We have to wait and watch. El Aguila could discharge extremely powerful electrostatic charges that his own nervous system generated. Thus, his body was able to discharge up to 100,000 volts. It is needless to say that this was a deadly weapon, and he could also control the intensity using his mind. Apart from his unique ability, he was a trained fighter and a lethal swordsman who could take on the best in business. He carried a double-edged steel sword, and this mean blade could land a fatal blow. However, he did have one major limitation. His bioelectric blast required a conductive metal in order to be released, and in the absence of this medium or his sword, he could be found helpless. Pile driver, thunderball, bulldozer, and the wrecker, aka the wrecking crew. The wrecking crew. The wrecking crew comprises of four members, but Dirk Gartwaite was the original wrecker. He got his powers after he held on to a magical crowbar during a lightning storm, and three other men who held on to the crowbar also gained certain powers. Among these three men was an ex-army surgeon named Henry Camp, an ex-physicist named Dr. Elliot Franklin, and an ex-farmhand named Brian Koleski. They became known as the Bulldozer, Thunderbolt, and Piledriver, respectively. Bulldozer had a specially armored helmet, which allowed him to ram into the enemy with great power. Wrecker used a four-foot-long crowbar, and this could be used as a weapon for mass destruction. He used it to fight Thor, and he could destroy buildings in seconds using the crowbar. Thunderball used a wrecking ball attached to a long chain, and it could also project strong energy bolts. He could spin it around so fast that even bullets would be deflected. The team always worked together, and their combined powers made them a formidable opponent. They battled the mighty Thor, and eventually, it took the efforts of the Defenders and Power Man to defeat them. The supervillain group is present in the She-Hulk TV series, and we are all waiting to find out in what capacity their presence is explored. Mr. Immortal As the name suggests, Mr. Immortal possessed immortality along with his superhuman strength. His original name was Craig Hollis, and his abilities were courtesy of a cosmic entity called Death Urge. Craig's mother made Death Urge promise her on her deathbed that her son would be cared for by the cosmic force, and this was his unique way of doing so. Craig would always be endangering his life, and Death Urge would always be there to protect him from such near-death situations. After his childhood in the presence of the mysterious cosmic entity, Craig was later adopted by an abusive man. 
Even in the worst moments of his life, when Craig felt like killing himself, death urge wouldn't make it possible, and he slowly realized that he could never die. He would always find a way to return to life, healing from the worst of injuries, and sometimes this would be in rather violent fits of rage. It wasn't always a gift for Mr. Immortal because he had to watch his loved ones die around him, and no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't end his life. The leaked audition tapes confirmed that Mr. Immortal is a part of She-Hulk, and act Actor Tom Archdeacon is seen playing the role in the video. Frogman Frogman, or Eugene Patilio, had a tragic upbringing that eventually culminated in a life of crime fighting. Eugene's father, Vincent, was a failed inventor who never really came up with something commercially viable, and the family was run by his mother, Rosie. After her death, Vincent struggled to make ends meet, and young Eugene had to look for jobs to support his family. During this time of crisis, Vincent came up with electrically powered coils and fashioned a special costume that enabled him to function as Leapfrog. His villainous career was cut short pretty quickly and he ended up in prison. Meanwhile, Eugene came across the suit and he used the costume to adopt a new identity. He wanted to use this to fight crime and he ended up helping the likes of Spider-Man and the Human Torch. Frogman continued to serve various superheroes including Captain America and the Defenders, and he also worked with the Avengers in one instance. The special suit allowed Frogman to jump great distances of up to six stories high in a single jump, and it made him move around very easily. In the She-Hulk Attorney Law TV series, actor Brandon Stanley will be playing the role, and he revealed that it will be called Leap Frog instead of Frogman. Porcupine Alexander Gentry was a weapons designer working for the U.S. Army, and he came up with the idea for a battle suit that resembled a porcupine, would be covered in quill-like projectiles that could be filled with weapons or deadly chemicals and shot at the enemy. He believed that his invention would be highly valued, but when his dreams crashed, he kept the suit for himself. He took to a life of crime and called himself the Porcupine, a dangerous costume criminal. He used the suit to rob burglar-proof banks and he ended up fighting the Ant-Man and the Wasp. Porcupine only tasted success briefly and even his criminal team-ups never really amounted to something great. While he hasn't really been an unforgettable villain so far, we have to wait and watch the treatment done to him by the She-Hulk makers. Manbull William Torrance, aka Manbull, was a victim of certain ill-fated experiments. He used to work for Mr. Klein, who made them kidnap certain people to be used as test subjects. During one such mission, Daredevil stopped the kidnapping, and William was punished for his failure and forced to become the subject of the experiment himself. He was transformed into a super-sized monstrous entity with horns, and this is how he got the name Manbull. He gained super strength and was built like a tank in his new form. The structure was extremely durable and the horns could be used as deadly weapons. He was again out for kidnapping people and ended up facing Daredevil once again. However, this time he was strong enough to fight back, although Daredevil still got the better of him and got him sent to prison. He managed to break free from the prison cell after finding more of the Man Bull Serum and after permanently transforming into his beastly form, he planned to poison the entire water supply in New York with a syrup. His evil intentions were foiled, and over the years, he never really made it big as a criminal. Rise Koiro, Donnie Blades The speculations all started when the blurry images of a man who was seen around a fiery aura. It made people believe that the she TV series might feature Ghost Rider in some capacity. The head writer, however, later clarified that it was not Johnny Blaze, but Donnie, a magician. He happened to pick out a stage name that he thought would make him popular. The writer also added to the rumors by suggesting that the character would be quite important in the show. He might be somehow related to the Ghost Rider, but we have to wait and watch if the popular Marvel character is indeed back in action. <laughs> Charlie Cox, Matt Murdock, Daredevil Matt Murdock or Daredevil had a painful past where he was raised by a single father and bullied by the other kids. His father wanted him to become an educated personality unlike himself, and his twin brother was the one who had to protect him from all the bullying by the kids in the neighborhood. All this trauma prompted Matt to secretly train in his father's gym, and a freak accident got him exposed to a radioactive isotope and blinded him. After a while, Matt found out that his other senses had been incredibly heightened, and he continued to extend his training to become skilled in martial arts and acrobatics. 
Meanwhile, his father had been shot dead, and Matt was desperate to find out the killers. He punished them for their crimes and eventually took to the life of fighting crime using his superpowers. Matt became known as the Daredevil, and his numerous missions pitted him against some of the deadliest villains. She-Hulk is all set to bring Daredevil in an all-new costume, and the superhero is probably going to have a significant role in the series. Pressing than dating in your 30s. Yeah, this is the best date I've had in a while. Oh. David Atunga, one of Gen State's. The WWE fans will be familiar with David Atunga as one of the former superstar wrestlers in the ring. He's seen making his MCU debut in the first trailer of She-Hulk Attorney at Law. The former wrestler is seen as one of the dates that Jennifer Walter, She-Hulk, goes on. She is shown to be going on a series of dates and it did not take too long for the fans to figure out that one of the guys is none other than David Atunga. While not much else is known about the character, not even his name, it will be an exciting prospect for the WWE fans to be able to watch their favorite superstar in a very different role. Whether it is just a blink and you miss cameo or a meteor role, we have to wait and watch. Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. Ginger Gonzaga, Nikki Ramos. The basic premise of She-Hulk is now well established for everyone. She-Hulk or Jennifer Walters will learn the tricks of balancing her superhero act along with her role as a lawyer. And for better or worse, she will have some accomplices while she braves the challenges. Bruce Banner, or the Hulk, helps her out, and there are some others like Daredevil who come to her aid. Nikki Ramos is one of her best friends at work, and she always encourages her to embrace her new, muscular green side. The character of Nikki Ramos is quite social, and she can befriend just about anyone. This charming personality might come in handy for the She-Hulk, and Ginger Gonzaga might just be the right actress for the role. Renee Elise Goldsberry, Mallory Book Mallory Book is just what you call a beauty with brains, having won the Miss Utah competition and also acing her professional life as a lawyer. She specialized in legal services concerning the superhuman aspects and became known for being the lawyer who never lost a case. She often handled cases against the likes of Hank Pym and Doctor Strange, and she helped them reach settlements without the legal hassles. Jen Walters was also hired by the same firm, and thus there began a fierce rivalry between the two. Walters caused her to lose her first case, and it further added to the bad blood between the two. She was so bitter about the She-Hulk ruining her winning streak that she wanted to ruin her reputation permanently. Mallory Book is all set to be the femme fatale in the show, and you can expect her to be after the life of Jen Walters. Renee Elise Goldsberry is a more than capable actor for the role, and you can be sure of some fireworks when the two hit it off. No one fights the absorbing man without going through me. We're partners in crime and love. Jamila Jamil, Titanium. Titania, or Mary McFerrin, was born prematurely, and hence she was the smallest of all her siblings. She spent her childhood in fantasy books and didn't really have too many friends while growing up through all the bullying that she endured. She secretly craved for superpowers to get back at her tormentors, and even went on to lie about her secret identity as Spider-Woman. When her lies were caught, the tormentors chased her all the way into a forest, and Doctor Doom found her fit for his army of supervillains. Mary and her only friend accepted his offer, and Doctor Doom made use of alien technologies to turn Mary into a tall, muscular lady with super strength. She was now proud and confident as Titania, and fought She-Hulk and Spider-Man. Jamila Jamil as Titania can be the perfect villain in the series, unless the story has some twists in store for the fans. So, Jennifer Waters. Namaste. Tim Roth, Emil Blonsky, Abomination. Emil Blonsky was a communist Croatian spy, and he managed to infiltrate the U.S. Air Force Base in New Mexico. He made a few attempts to sabotage missiles in the base, and although the attempts failed, the Air Force couldn't make out the identity of the spy among them. He ended up being exposed to Bruce Banner's gamma radiation machine, and just like Banner, something in his body did not get him killed. Instead, he mutated and transformed into a gigantic green-skinned monster like the Hulk. This was dubbed as Abomination, and theoretically he possessed greater strength than the Hulk because he sustained a far greater gamma radiation exposure. Besides, Abomination also retained his human intelligence, and during their encounter, he nearly beat the Hulk to death. 
It took an overly excited and inspired Hulk to defeat a below-strength abomination, and in She-Hulk, the fans are waiting for some nail-biting encounters. Tim Roth is playing the role, and you can expect some mean battles between She-Hulk and Abomination, where even Bruce Banner can get involved. Drew Matthews, Dennis Buck Bukowski Buck was a criminal prosecutor, and he was famously known for the cases where he clashed against popular lawyer Jennifer Walters or the She-Hulk. The proceedings got really ugly, and after a momentary win, Buck was driving down the road when he spotted Jennifer Walters' car driving straight towards him. He believed that the loss made her furious enough to come for revenge, but he was unaware that it was actually her best friend, Jill Stevens, with She-Hulk desperately trying to save her. The whole accident ended up taking the life of Jill, and Buck assumed that She-Hulk was responsible for the killing. This character is known to be a permanent thorn in She-Hulk's path, and we don't see things happening any differently in the show. If Drew Matthews does a fair job, you can be sure that the character will be the perfect rival that makes for some mouth watering contact in the show. Who's your best friend? Nikki. Eh, spandex. Spandex. Mark Ruffalo, Bruce Banner, Hulk. Mark Ruffalo needs no introduction and Bruce Banner as the Hulk has been one of the strongholds of the MCU. The fans were delighted to see him appear in She-Hulk as well, and it looks like he will be a gentle guiding force for She-Hulk, helping her to navigate the tricky waters of a new superhero life. The big green dude has evolved quite a bit during his long MCU journey, and the final gentle version of him is calmer and better than ever before. We hope that he gets enough screen time because it will be delightful to watch She-Hulk fight evil forces along with the original Hulk by her side. Miss Walters, we answer to a higher power. Our universe. Benedict Wong, Wong. We all remember the master of the mystic arts, Wong. The recent Multiverse of Madness also saw him in action, and from the looks of it, She-Hulk will also feature him in some capacity. There is a good chance that Doctor Strange's trusted ally and friend might be a part of the show, just as some cameo, but the fans will love a few fun one-liners from the veteran Marvel character. Benedict Wong is known for his impeccable comic timing, and we wouldn't be surprised if his presence ends up adding to the comedic value of the show, even if it is for a brief moment. With so many exciting new characters being added to the cast, the show is all set to be a star-studded affair. Do let us know in the comments below about your first thoughts on the show and what you would have liked to be different. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. The Book of Ashanti. No, the Book of American uh, Laws. <laughs>